know, I think that the little like starting, like getting together is a good uh, like indication of, of, of how life's been. It's been kind of hectic, you know, yeah. you and I have tried to get together and make things happen a, a few times and it's just challenging, you know? Yeah, it's tough. So how's, how's things going with the, uh, the little one? Like what's, what's obviously that's taken up a lot of your time probably. He's, he's awesome. He's like amazing. Um, yeah. It's really a highlight of the day, every day. Um, if you're feeling like a little, I don't know, like out of it or sad or not sad, but out of it or just like off, off that day, you know, you go hang out with him and he like brings it back to, he grounds you. you think, yeah. I think. yeah. So he's great doing great. I can't believe that, you know, he's just a, he's five months, just over five months. And I can't believe that he like wants to like wrestle with me and stuff. You know what I mean? Like when I'm holding him and I, I didn't expect that from such a small baby. You know what I yeah. mean? So that's that's cool. That's gotta be fun to see. Like what's the most, uh, like besides that, like, you know, what, what else have you found? Just like that he like gives you affection and love back. And like, I didn't expect that at this point either. You know what I mean? Just because yeah. you think it's like, something only someone who is mature and understands things can give back but like no he he gives it right back which has been which is really cool yeah well you know obviously when he was one month two months three months there's ways they show you they they like are appreciating you but now he like hugs you you know what i mean and like yeah he like wants the connection yeah so it's cool that that's been surprising to me and then just, um, you know, he's always screaming like, like for fun, you know, like that, cause he's trying to figure out his voice. So that's another funny thing that he does. Yeah. That's, that's funny. Just kind of coming into it. My brother, um, they had a, um, a, a baby last year and he just turned one. So, you know, kind of seeing him change in that, you know, period of time is, is interesting to see them coming into their own and, you know, yeah, like you said, like finding their own voice. I didn't even really think about that before, but he's doing what's his name? A lot of that, Jack. Jack. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. Have you, so, have you had a chance to see him much, like through the? Yeah, we've the, been we've been doing a little bit. They had a get together for his first birthday, so um, that's good. you know that was uh, that was good. But yeah, I mean, it's it's interesting to see, like you know, him kind of growing up and changing, like you said, yeah. just this little bit of time. So, uh, see, it's, when, it's fun when people like, you know, when you're at those get togethers and his dad's talking about him, does he like say, oh, he's going to be, you know, a runner or like, do people say stuff like that yet? Like, yeah, he's like, um, I, I feel like he's, he's on the move a little bit. He's been crawling and, and doing all that kind of stuff. So, um, he's definitely moving in and, uh, you know, I, I think more of his personality is coming out. I don't think they know exactly, you know, just yet what, what he'll be doing, but he loves like this little Jeep. I got him. So he's like, you know, running around in that playing with that. That's cool. um, I got him a basketball set for his birthday. So, you know, seeing him uh, go towards yeah. that, you know, <laughs> yeah. maybe there's I some just, potential there. I just think it's funny. Cause I feel like everyone I come and count in, interact with with uh elijah is that everyone like always says like oh he's gonna be you know like whatever they like for some reason that's a thing people seem to do i don't know like almost like trying to put them in like uh they're gonna like, be there, so they're gonna grow yeah 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 just be for their like you know for instance they they always say you know oh elijah's he's he looks like he's gonna be a wrestler or <laughs> gymnast or it's like how would you ever know that at five months but i think people just do that for some reason you know like that that's is what i was trying to say yeah 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 because it's like yeah because there's always some aspirational thing like what you know what great things yeah your you know baby child become at some point um and it's funny that most of us don't end up becoming you know these that it's because it's always like sports related or yeah, you know, just yeah. like the astronaut thing, and yeah, he's going to go to West Point. You're breaking up a little bit. 
Yeah, smile on your face. Oh, yeah, so are you. <laughs> are we back? Yeah, we're back. Cool. Yeah, Zoom um, always works out for me. It does freeze like here and there, but if you just like wait a 30 seconds, it comes back, you know? Yeah, it's yeah, it's weird. I, I feel the same way. And I've, I've had it been like changing my... Uh, actually, I'm going to switch this now. Okay. Um, my... My phone is almost like a better Wi-Fi connection than my actual. Really? No, because yeah. you use your hotspot. I mean, yeah, I just use the hotspot. It, it works out so much better. I don't know why. It might cut out here for a second. Like a direct path of, you know, Wi-Fi stuff coming right to you. Maybe, maybe instead of like a. Yeah, I'm not really too sure. I'm not too sure why that that happens because I was actually on the phone with Comcast like a couple of weeks ago, and just talking to them about why it's cutting out and all this. You know, I have like two different settings for some reason. They set it up that way, um, and yeah, I mean, it like tested fine, but it still keeps like cutting in and out. So I, I think it's probably because everybody's home and working and using more of it. That's what he said. But that, it was dude, it was like so funny getting into a conversation with this guy not to go off off topic of uh, what we we're talking about, but um, going down the rabbit hole with like, you know, people and customer service. Like I, I enjoy like going down the rabbit hole and talking, oh. you know, cause they'll go on and talk to you forever. I mean, if there's, they'll give you the information. Yeah. Or, or they'll just tell you about their life. Like this oh, guy right. was telling me about, you know, he's like a big gamer and, you know, as he's like resetting my router, he's like, Oh, so, you know, and I like get into it like BS with them. And, uh, and so he was telling me about this second life thing that he plays and, you know, basically it's like another world that he's in and, you know, you could do all this, you know, it's almost like GTA, you know, Grand Theft Auto for like, it seems, you know, like a different world, like you're in space and you can actually make, there's people that make money, like yeah. real money yeah, they, in these games. I, I've heard of this a little bit. I think one of my, I don't know if it was my nephew, I have like some older nephews and nieces or a niece that I can think of in particular. And I think she was into it and you can like create little apps that you sell on there or <laughs> something great. like that. You know, like, uh, like you made um, a shirt, a special shirt and like someone could buy that shirt, you know, from you. And now you have like some powers or something. I don't know. I mean, it, you, it's, yeah. it's so wild that we're at that point where it's like not even only are you limited I mean, to this physical world that, you know, is obviously having its, its time right now. Um, you know, and then you have like, these virtual worlds where people are kind of just getting away from escaping this actual reality and going yeah. somewhere completely different, which is, it's kind of wild, but I mean, these people were very passionate about it. And, the, and it's been around for, I feel like 10 years or more, you know, second life. It's been around for a long time. And, um, those people are going to like do really well in the next couple of years because that's like what our, our world's becoming. It's like yeah. a, a second life, you know what I mean? So they're like already ahead of the game. Meanwhile, we're, we're, we were, you know, teasing them at that point being like, why, why are yeah, these people spending you... all this time? <laughs> they're building an empire while we're, you know, waiting to get into there. But <laughs> yeah, it is that people get way into it. It's just, I think it's a form of escapism, you know, but like, but like you're saying, though, it, it almost is like they're like building up this, not to say like everybody's going to be in that, but in some capacity with augmented reality, virtual reality in the future, when that becomes more like widely yeah. adopted, um, the augmented reality gets me pretty excited. I don't know how much you've seen of that or how much you, you know. I've seen augmented reality is pretty cool and the virtual reality stuff that that's like out there is pretty pretty awesome I, some colleagues of mine were sharing with me some show on disney i forget what it is right now disney plus right they have a 360 um stage set and this is a virtual reality type of of thing mm -hmm. um like it's off the virtual reality comment you make um but it's a it's a tv show and so the stage set um moves live um, 
moves with the actor and the visual behind them is moving with them too so they don't have to leave this room ever so it's like all virtual filming and like the actors staying basically almost in one place or just moving around but the background's moving oh wow what's and do you remember what it's called no but i'll i'll, I'll look it up before we get off this yeah call. yeah check it out because that's that's interesting um you broke up a little bit but essentially it's just like you know are they actual like actors like you know human beings or yeah. it's like more of an anime yes. thing nope they're they're actors yep wow that's um so what do you what do you do do you watch it through like um like the oculus or like you one know of a, you know actually but like that i think what's interesting is i think all the stuff they learned from like vr and you know oculus and just all that stuff like has now morphed into the way they're shooting and the way they're making it. So like you, the viewer don't have to work hard at all because you know, it's kind of weird. It's not weird. It's just like, you know, you're putting on that thing, you know, which is kind of fun to do, but if you've ever worn it for extended period of time, it's really awkward to have this like appendage off of your eyes. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and so like, I think what the industry is doing a little bit is trying to figure out how to give that VR experience. But as the viewer, you don't have to do anything but be there, you know? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Just kind of show up. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, cause that's, I guess when we're watching TV or whatever, a lot of times we are like, it's the same thing as second life. You kind of like drift off and. Yeah. It's escapism. Own. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. You know, if you have to work hard to get there, you're not going to do it as often. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like anything else. Like you want you want things to be easier. You want, you know, you have enough in your life that's hard to do. Um, yeah. but it's but it's like it's funny like that. And then the flip side of it is like some of my hobbies now are becoming, you know, I guess it could be escapism, but it's a harder thing to do. So I don't know, I don't know how that plays into it. Like on the one hand, like you say, there, there's things that you just want to be so easy and that's the, the major value in that. And there's other things like I'm, I'm really getting into like messing around with the cold brew um, oh, right. you know, system that I got and now like playing around with different times and different roasts and, you know, doing my own beans. So I'm getting like deeper and deeper into that. I want to start like infusing <laughs> different, you know, yeah. like lavender and like try and mess around with stuff just to see how it comes out. But that's becoming like, uh, I guess, like an exploratory like hobby for me. Not that it's super easy, but it's not rocket science either. Um, and just, you know, I was talking to somebody yesterday. She's, you know, working on doing marketing and different things for this woman who, um, you know, has a company where they teach classes around like, um, like succulents, like, you know, plants. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And how to grow them take care of them and all that stuff and i was like I talk about a whole you. world you know like yeah. again yeah i i never even knew that existed or that would even be a thing but i'm like actually my dad is like really into that now <laughs> he's like you know is he? plants and oh yeah you know, like the whole, whole like horticultural kind of uh situation so i don't know yeah, it's it's interesting with the core i mean that sounds to just to go back to your comment about coffee like um from last time we talked, right? We were talking about like, you like to really get into stuff and like figure it out. And like, you, you'll you go deep into it. Even like you were talking about um, the guy, you know, just talking to the Comcast guy and like seeing what he has, what he has to sh share. You know, I think like in your personality, you, um, you know, you like to learn about these things. Like it's, it's I would never have guessed that you were into, uh, you know, coffee and like doing the cold yeah. brew and all this stuff and like you know learning how to pull the different levers to make it like just right you know um but you know it's because you have a need to be like stimulate it keep your mind active and i think that's like really that's you know what you're taking away from learning about coffee and someone else about succulents is so different than going into second life or watching that show we were talking about <laughs> earlier because yeah. like sure you might come away with 
uh, I don't know, you're, you're learning something with you forever. You know, that's what I'm trying to say. You share that thing. That's yeah. pretty awesome. I think, I think what I'm, the point I'm trying to make is like, you know, there's like, we were talking about two, two separate things or, but, but two same things. Like how do we spend our free time, you know? And yeah. And like, I think I'm like you where I like to learn stuff in my free time and it becomes, and that's the enjoyment is like learning it and like thinking about it when you're not doing it. <laughs> like how, I'm going, right. how am I going to figure this out? You know? Yeah. It's like that problem solving or, I mean, like sometimes I wish I wasn't in such a quest for that because I get bored with things very easily. So that's like the, the downside of it is that I can't just sometimes I can't just be happy doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again, because I know that at some point there, there has to become that next level. You have to level up at some point, things have to innovate. So you can't just do the same thing over, like it will exhaust itself over yeah. time. Yeah. Um, so interesting you say that. Cause like, if we bring that back to like the design industry for a second, you get to a point where you do know the recipe right mm -hmm. like of like stuff that will work and then like sometimes you push yourself to go to that next level um and it's like it doesn't work in that setting or that environment or whatever and it's an interesting thing you bring up because it's like is it like do you just exhaust it you know what i mean like and is it then done and you put it away and just go and sort of consume and learn the next topic you know yeah it happens to me all the time too like I, I i'll pick something up you know i've had so many different hobbies i've tried just because i'm interested in learning about all of it you know right um and sometimes you get to a point where there's nothing more well i can't say there's never anything more to learn but like in the traditional sense of how you use the knowledge like it gets to a point then i think it's like how do you the way you innovate is then changing like its use or finding something new or something like that right right yeah exactly yeah or like even you know it's it's like um like some stuff can exhaust itself but then after a period of time it comes it can come back because it will inherently be new at some point again if people stop doing it so it's like you know if you look at like fashion trends or whatever like you know I'm, I'm i've been watching this show on uh on netflix recently it's called slobby's world I think oh i didn't know that one world. i'll have to take a note is it funny <laughs> this guy is like such a character um but he basically he has a store in tucson and um it seems to be like kind of like right around all the, like the colleges i'm pretty sure that's where like you know university of arizona is um because yep. it seems like a lot of college kids are coming in. So he has this store. It's like basically dedicated to 90s nostalgia, like oh, okay. type stuff like clothes. But, you know, he has like a lot of sneakers and this and that. And it's like, you know, he just goes. It looks like, you know, it takes him through him having people in the shop looking for whatever they're looking for. And then he'll go to like swap meets and, um, you know, find things that are, you know, being sold and then kind of like flip them. So it's almost like, uh, you know, he bought it for 50 bucks and he'll be able to sell it for 400. So, so it's, he, you know, it's like the antiquers approach, but he's yeah. like not a nineties antique dude. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Like, gotcha. You know, all that stuff is, is in demand and you know, it, it's just kind of, uh, I don't even know why, why I mentioned that, but, um, yeah, it's, it's a pretty interesting show to check. That's out. all right. Yeah. I think it was just, um, you know, like the niches we keep talking about, you know, and like he's taken the antique approach in like the nineties with it. Or oh yeah. I think, yeah. Right. I think, I don't know why I lost my train. Of That's all right. I guess to it's easy to do. To, <laughs> yeah. Like things that are in now that, you know, obviously in the thousands, nineties things weren't in, but now that we're in another decade, you know, people are, I mean, nostalgia will always be there, but new, you know, things from the seventies or eighties or whatever people will start wearing again, because then it's, I I'm excited if it ever happens for hip hop to come back to the nineties, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That would be, 
that would be cool. But I, I, I don't, I feel like it's so. You there? You're frozen. Okay. Go. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, I'm here. I, I, do you think it could happen though? Like uh, that, that sound from the nineties, like how would that be ad adopted today? It's, it's like weird to think about like everything from the nineties clothes, everything that represents and actually is, you know, what, what these groups were, what these artists were is popular, but the kind of music isn't, it's like, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a bit strange. I I'm with you. Um, What's interesting, I think, when we started quarantine and, and life slowed down mm -hmm. and, like, you were like, I, I have some extra time here. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and at first everyone had, like, the jitters and stuff, but, like, you started to settle into it. And, like, I was hoping that what, what's cool about that is that you can take your time to, like, do stuff. So, like, in a music um, sort of... Uh, context you could set up like the instruments or you could set up amps and you could set up stuff that's a little bit more analog as opposed to like going digital right away and having like re replications of sounds um i think that's what was so cool about the 90s stuff is not that it's like all analog or uh, not digital but there's just like a craft in how you made the beats or you know like there was like um people took time to make the music in a certain way, almost to get it to sound like it was 100% analog. You know what I mean? Yeah. So they would sample um, old jazz records or old... Um, like the 70s you know, type stuff. Yeah, like, yeah. It, it was a lot of... I feel like, yeah, the 90s were like a lot of sampling, which yeah. I think... I mean, do you think that's probably the reason why? Because I feel like, you know, um, like P. Diddy and, and all those guys, you know, they they sampled most of that that's how they built you know what, what they have um off of all these samples but now because I, I looked into that before i was like well why don't people do that today and it's because everybody's very like sue happy and they're like you know protective of of all of those samples so do you think it's harder to do that now with i don't know i i think that i think it takes time to do it i think it takes like true appreciation of music and like for me i still search for samples but i do it kind of like um you know it's just like something i if i hear something i'm like ooh, that would be a nice sample to take from that song and and loop it you know what i mean yeah. like i love when i when i hear something like that and but it's because i listen and appreciate music you know what i mean so like i think there's a there's like a fast or a down and dirty way to make music right now. You know what I mean? Because you can make it quick and get it out there and get it up. And so people can see it. Right. Um, as opposed to like, you know, doing the artistry part of it and taking time and like maybe someone might um, not hit it at the exact moment in time that they want, but like the product's better. Does that make sense? Right. Yeah, you can almost experiment in real time versus before you right. go through months and months and months of creating right. a record, and then it's like you know, right now, now, right time. Yeah, right now I'm updating my website, my personal website. Okay, I'm doing it live. Like I don't even it's it's I know that it's not getting the like traffic, like tons of traffic to it that it matters. So like, so, so I, you have it live and you're making edits. You're not. Yep. And You're then not, I'm experimenting. Like, yeah. it. It's already published and it's. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that that's, you, you hit it, you hit the nail on the head with, with it's more important right now to be like, um, just like have your shingle or have your stake in the ground. Yeah. As opposed to like waiting to release something, you know what I mean? Yeah, because it it that builds up. Like, how how have you? Because you've obviously done that, done you know, gone the other route before, right? Like, I'm assuming yeah, yeah, put it together and waited to publish it until it was perfect. 
Like I, I have a website right now too. And I, I'm, you know, unlike you, I, I don't know that it's actually published. I know I've like, you know, been messing around with the template, but because things have changed kind of, you know, the trajectory of, of what I'm going to do next, I'm like, I'm like, what, what do I put, you know, as the categories at this point? So, um, but yeah, I think it, you know, like yeah. to, I mean, it might so, be just to publish it and just like, Get something out there that says, you know, if you own that domain, you might as well use it. I'm paying Just, for it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's not a ton of money, right? But it's something. And, and you could just get something out there that says, you know, hey, you know, I'm, I'm working on this site and stop back or like leave your email address. I'll let you know when it's published. Yeah. I'm like, just like a coming soon page or whatever. But, um, it's, I get into that often too. It's like, what are the categories? Like it's, you know, something about me was so like in a business context, it's like, think about my bio, but think about it in a way that maybe someone will read a few bullet points on my website, you know, just like grab right. a few things. Um, and then I just show like images of my work and like, I'm, I'm trying to be a little looser about it this time for some reason. Um, last time I would think? like, um, I think because I'm not a hundred percent sure how I want to, I don't, I don't know what the end result's going to be yet. I just know that I have all this work images and different like disciplines and I need a, I need a place to actually store it. And that has changed now. It's not like I, like I have a folder with all my past projects, but it's doing no good kind of like chilling on the corner of my desktop, you know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah. like if, and it's, so like, why not just put it in a place where that could be seen, you know, right. like maybe it doesn't have to be so um, pixel perfect and uh, UX is like, you know, all the best, but like someone can just get the idea of what you do quickly. Maybe that's more valuable. You know, that's kind of what I, that, that's what I'm thinking about right now as we're talking, you know, I'm not sure if that's exactly how I feel, but it's just like the process I'm going through, you know? Yeah. Well, you obviously had to go through some, some mental shift there to say, you know what, I'm just going to put it out there. Like what, like, why do you think that is versus not like, did you, was there something where you were like, you know what? I think I'll put it out there now, you know, and this is, I, you know, this is kind of new like we're just kind of stumbling upon this so i'm thinking through it right now but i think it's because i feel really confident in the work mm -hmm. so i don't I, it doesn't feel like i need a slick or glamorous website like mm -hmm. that almost detracts from the work i think i i think the work speaks for itself and like now having been in the industry for a while to see what else is out there I feel confident in it and like it's not all solely my work it's collaborations it's teamwork and stuff like that but i i think that's why like before when i was doing websites i didn't feel as confident so, so like i would like make sure the website was also a portfolio piece you know what i mean yep but like maybe that's just thinking about it all wrong because the website is now or the web is now a, a utility Right. You know? Yeah, exactly. No, I, I know where you're coming from on that. I think, you know, maybe I'll take that same, same kind of approach. I mean, I, um, I put together, you know, I, I put together, I was like, you know, kind of taking a little time because in the past couple of weeks we had layoffs. And so now I'm, you know, kind of right. figuring out my next, next step. Yeah. And, um, I, I think it took a little time for me to decompress. I was like interviewing a little bit at first. Um, and still going through that, but it's like, you know, I got into, okay, let's just apply to some jobs. And, you know, that becomes a very like lonely path where it's like, you know, you see how many people are applying. I've been on that side, right? I know how intense and frankly awful of a process that typically is for everybody involved. Yep. Um, it's just so long and you know, it's just a, a big, decision. Ar arduous. Yeah. It's arduous. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's, uh, you know, I know what's, what goes into that. And I'm like, this is no like walk in the park. Um, so, so it's like, you know, I was like putting stuff out there getting some traction, but at the same time, it's like, 
you don't really hear back and it's just like you and you, you throw it into a black hole and like at some point you will hear back but who knows and um so i was like you know what i really like i have a lot of sorry can you hear me? a little bit yeah yeah i just like i tried to throw a quick comment in there because yeah. um I was just saying like you in like six months, you'll get that email that says, sorry, you weren't the right fit for this job, yeah. you know, but that's it, like, it goes through a system. Like it's the only real, real feedback and actual, like, you know, any way that you get into some company, it's because you know, somebody it's because, you know, and that's really, I mean, the best way for companies to find people is because they know of somebody you can actually trust them, you know, that they're not, bullshitting or whatever you know it's yeah they're they're somebody that you know they're within your circle at some point so um yes you know i've been i've been playing around with that and saying you know what i'm not just gonna like sit on the sidelines because i was like you know like it'll come to me or uh, like i'll hear back from one of these things like let's just you know in my mind i'm like experimenting with it i'm like will i really hear back like I, i know i'm i know i'm good i know i'm qualified for these jobs i know i do a great job but it's it's hard to just do that through a resume and submitting that into a portal. Um, yeah. So I was yeah. like, you know, if I was, I thought about it the same way. I'm like, okay, if I was on the dating scene, like, would I just kind of sit in my house? Like, yeah, people know me and I'm, you know, I, I'm sure like an eligible bachelor, you know, to be single. Sure. But as, if no one knows about me and no one knows that I'm dating or, or want to be involved in something or I'm out there, then I'm not really going to get a ton of, you know, interest or, you know, people right. out. But if you go to the people or you go to say, Hey, I can do this, this, and this for you. Can I help you? Or I'm looking for this. You know, I've, I've done that in the past two days. I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to just reach out, um, you know, just reconnect with my network, see whoever I can help out with right now, you know, even pro bono, just to kind of like keep active in my community or help out people. And if, you know, they happen to have an opportunity that looks good or that could be a good fit, um, let me know. I sent out a little video, which I haven't done before. So I made like a personalized video, sent it out to, nice. you know, started sending it out to people in my network. The response has been like incredible so far. And it's, you know, and now I'm attracting the types of people that are forward thinking like me. So it's like, kind of killing two birds at one stone. So I guess the moral of that is, you know, yeah, you have to just put stuff out there and not think about it so much. You have to let people know you're there. Yeah. You will go, people will forget, like, you know, if you're, there's so many things that people are consuming on a daily basis that it's like, I got to stay top of mind. Yeah. I think that, I think right now the chills Mark, because that's exactly it. Like that's exactly what we were talking about in the beginning with the coffee and like, and, and music and like the artistry and like diving in and not just like watching a show and chilling and being passive. Like you and I don't do well passive, you know, you know, I love to chill and I love being, you know, in the moment and having a good time. That's not kind of what I'm saying, but like just what you had described right there, if you clip that and sent that to some people, you would definitely get some, some traction. Cause it was, it was exactly what I think you and I have been trying to articulate in some ways, just that yeah. like you have to do it, like you have to do shit. And, it, right. and what I wanted to ask you was like where, and to just like bring this back to like our last talk is like, you had a moment where you were inspired to try this other approach. You know what I mean? And you yeah. were like, that idea came to you and you, you ran with it. You did something with it. It's like those moments are like the best moments to me, you know, because they don't come that often. And it's like, right. and when they do, you're like, you, you know that it's a good thing. You know that it's a good idea, whatever. Um, yeah, so, think, so what was the process like of making the video? That's, that's what, that was the other part of that. So you had this idea, you made the video. Did you have to like write something down or did you, 
um, take a, like a hundred takes or like, how did it go? I took, I took a few takes cause I was like, well, how, you know, what, what do I want to do? And I, you know, I've been making a, a schedule to say, okay, I want to structure my day. Um, you know, because being kind of like everything's, you know, an opportunity at this point, I need to make sure that I have some, some structure to my day. So it's, you know, like small things like wake up, you know, make my bed, like make breakfast, feed the dog, take the dog for a walk, all this stuff. And then it's like, okay, let's like look for some jobs. At least we can like check that off the list and like be diligent about, you know, at least trying. See and then it's like, yeah. Yeah. And then it's like, you know, just tapping into my network to see, you know, where there may be opportunities. But then on my list, um, I didn't know where I could work it in, but I was like, I want to like try and help one person a day. Like if I can just like do something that's like a little bit like paying it forward, like hopefully that could help. So I kind of took that and, you know, I didn't want to just be blowing up my whole network and saying, Hey, can you introduce me to this person and that person? Like, you know, everybody's like very helpful. Everybody's like, if you have somebody that you want to be introduced to, like, let me right. know. But there's a lot of people that these people know. So I don't want to hit them up and say, here's 20 people. Right. Uh, can you make the introduction? Like that would be ideal, but it, that puts a lot on them too. So I wanted to find a way where I could at least put out something to, you know, the people in my network offer my assistance or service first and then, you know, if, if there's something that comes up down the line, at least I feel like, you know, I've at least reached out my hand to say, hey, I'm willing to like help you out, you know, with yeah. whatever, whatever I can do um, now. So, you know, if, the, if there's a chance that, you know, I could help you in the future. And that's how I've always kind of tried to, you know, manage my or, or you know, at least create my business relationships and, and really anything in that, you know, it's, fact. It, it's an awesome approach. I'm going to. I'm going to share that with some people <clears throat> who I know are like not sure how to get to the next thing. You know what I mean? Like they're either laid off or furloughed or they've lost their job and they know they can provide value, but um, they don't know how to navigate the situation they're in. You know, and I think that's an awesome way to do it is like, how can you help someone? And through that experience, like, something could come up that you may be interested in like it may not even have to do with the person you're helping or whatever like right you know what i mean but it's the fact that you're contributing to the positive vibe throwing flowing through the universe that it's going to come back it's gonna you're going to attract that same positive vibe you know right um and and if you're sitting there thinking like i don't know what to do next um i'm kind of confused you will also attract that. You know what I mean? So like, right. I, I know it sounds like some people are like not really into the, you know, um, the, the law of attraction or whatever. I think that's um, real though. I, I think, think it's real thing. too. I think the, the secret, you know, messed it all up because it like branded it, labeled it, you know, yeah. gave it an identity. You know what I mean? Um, but I, I agree with you. I think it's such a great way to, to look for the next thing because who knows what you'll find. And I think I keep bringing this back. It's the same way with getting into cold brew. Like who, you don't know what you're going to find through that process, but you know, like your, 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 your game to take, to take a dive, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's, I, I do like the experimental nature of it. And I think that's why I've always been attracted to like, even in business, like the roles that I've, been attracted to is because you get to play around, you get to experiment. That's why you know, marketing in that whole world has always been real interesting to me. Um, you know, there's obviously limitations, you know, based on, you know, some companies and how they're set up, but that's why it's like, you know, it's cool to take even just how I've reached out. Cause it's not only like a little LinkedIn message. There's a, a video service is called drift and essentially like, you know, you could create a video, sends the people to their site and they could, there's a little chat bot that pops up and it's like, are you here just to watch? Like, do you have any questions? So it allows people to then interact with you and also just see your face that you're like a real person and you're not, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, another message. So the, you know, I, I had somebody reach out to me, um, after I sent it. Um, and she was like, you know, I was, I was impressed, you know, with, with, um, how you went about this. 
we actually have, you know, we're looking for somebody on our team. And it seems like what you did lines up with the kind of ah, gotcha. like, thinking yeah. that you have. So, and it's weird because I've, I've been wanting to attract, but I didn't know how the types of people that, you know, are more forward thinking and innovative, like that's a group I want to be a part of. So um, it's just yeah, weird how I didn't know how to, like, I'm like looking on LinkedIn. I'm like, how do I find innovative type companies that even their management and, you know, people that are, are kind of running it are innovative, not just like the concept of it. Um, and Ooh, I was yeah. like, I don't know how to find that, but now I've inherently found that by doing <laughs> innovative things myself. So it's it kind of going back to your point, like the law of attraction, like I'm putting out innovative things and I'm getting those same vibes and those people attracted to me back which is what I wanted anyway. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. So it's like, it's, it's almost, cool. uh, it's almost, you're, you're consciously doing, but you're almost unconsciously doing it at the same time. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I couldn't have told you that that would have been my, my response. Like, yeah, it was kind of a, a, you know, it would be an ideal goal, but it wasn't my main goal. It was really just to like reach out and see what could come of this, like who actually could use my help. But then having like a, you know, a response like that was like, wow, okay, like this, this works. That's what's up. Yeah, that's a great idea, man. But um, yeah, for for yeah, for everybody like laid off, it is it is tough mentally on on people. So, you know, I think people I think the confidence once once that dips and you start doubting yourself and blaming yourself and that's when you can go, you know, into a deep dark hole. Um yeah. which is tough to crawl out of even if you are good at what you've done and, you know, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I've been there. I've been laid off. I've been without a job plenty of times. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and I lost my job right after 9-11 or actually right before, not right around that time, you know, and I and it took me a long time to find another job just because of the situation of the world, the environment, you know. Um, so, yeah, it is really challenging. And I think I was definitely like at that point, you start to get when you're at that point, you start to get desperate. I think that's my, that's what I was going with that. It's like, when you start to feel bad, you're like, I'll take anything. You know what I mean? And when you're younger and like just starting, like that's all right. But like, if you know what you want to do and you know that like you have to be happy to do a good job, um, then you're, you become a bit more choosy and you become more, um, you know, discerning, you know, in, in, in what you go after. But um, I, I lost my train of thought. Well, yeah, I think it's yeah because I've been in that, that situation too, I think, kind of where you were maybe <laughs> heading with that. Um, like, like, oh, the confidence and that not, go hand in hand. I'm sorry. Yes. Yep. I, what made me lose my train of thought is like the rain just really started. I know. I just saw how the yeah. rain. Alone. Yeah. And it kind of like took me, <laughs> took me away for a minute. Um, but – I feel like, you know, we could, there's so many things more to talk about, you know, like I yeah. have, I feel like we haven't caught up in a while because no, since yeah. we last, yeah. we, since we last talked just to switch, switch it up a little bit. Like I started looking into the pot, the podcasting tech a little bit Oh, cool! and cameras and mics and like just seeing what's out there. Um, and like, you know, I, I moved from the basement to the garage. So I'm in the garage right oh, now. Oh, sweet. And like, I had this idea of like creating my own little set here, you know, like, um, so funny you say that. Yeah. And like, so I, I, you know, made this backdrop and like, um, you know, I have like a ceiling piece up here with some lighting coming down oh, I um, like just, just to like, just to like feel war like, so it feels like warm and well lit, you know, so I think some of the problem with the basement was like, I felt like I was in a basement, you know what I mean? Yeah. a little bit like and I didn't really want that vibe coming through like I didn't I don't want to be in the basement all the time so right um so so yeah I just had this idea of like you know I can art direct this and like um you know I I think there's a business idea there you know what I mean like I think there's a business idea to help people style their video chat yeah. In a way that's like authentic, not just a backdrop or whatever, but like, you know, it could be, um, 
you know, their brand or their personality can come through. You know what I'm saying? Like, but like, I've noticed that no one knows what to do, where to sit. Like, yeah, like everybody's in like a random spot. Like, they're, it, everybody looks like they're in their bedroom, like <laughs> against like they're like, you know, like a mm-hmm. short wall or something. Like, um, yeah, so I think they're, yeah, I think it, it, it begs, like, is that, yeah, the, it begs the question, like, does it, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Do people like to like kind of like lounge when they do video chat? Like, because the people who are in their bedroom are usually like sitting on their bed with their like legs out or Indian style and they're kind of like looking down, you know? Yeah. And Um, then like the lights coming in from behind them. So then it's like their face is all dark. Yeah. (laughs) Can't even see it. Yeah. So it's a, I don't know, just was something that I was experimenting with. Like, not too, not too like serious about the business part of it, but like, I would do it for fun, like for, for people. Do you know what I mean? In the same token that you, you me, man. Yeah. In the same token that you had said, like, you know, get out there and just do some stuff, you know, like, sure. It could be like a business idea, but like, that's not really what I want to do for a business. You know what I mean? So right. I just do it because I like it, you know? Well, dude, I, I, it's, it's, that's why I said it was funny. You said that because, um, I've been reaching out now because I was like, you know, maybe, uh, you know, I have some friends on um, just to kind of keep keep social, like, you know, even though we're still all kind of social distancing or whatever, I'm like, you know, maybe just have, you know, my friends and my inner circle on, you know, versus trying to reach out and have all these other people. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, just to have just conversations with people. And um, I reached out to a guy I used to work with. He's like an art director. And I was like, we could have a pretty, you know, we always had good conversations. And, um, and so it was like, all right, he's like, where do you live? Because he was like thinking like, he'll come to my house. And then I was talking to my, my, I was like, we could just do it on zoom or, you know, you could come down. And then I was talking to my little brother who's 18. And I was like, you know, he's, he's like huge into TikTok now. Um, he just got okay. a thousand followers on that there. So he's like pretty pumped about it, but he's been pushing pushing like content like a lot in the past month so i've seen like him really getting into it yeah. so like, you should come on and like we should chat yeah yeah and he's like why don't you like so i'm like i don't know where we do it like i have a mobile little like setup that i can go and we could just have yeah. like, little microphones but he's like why don't you just like set set up like a little studio in your house and i'm like I guess I could, I guess I could do that. Like I have a basement, I could do it down there or I could just really outfit my, my office, which is like my second bedroom, you know, yeah. with just making it like a video podcast kind of studio. I so, mean, it's, that's, it's true. It's a good idea. It's like, that's kind of what my thinking was here because in the same token of TikTok, um, friends of mine are DJing on Twitch all the time. And they have like, that's, that's how they're playing out right now. You know what I mean? Oh, they're, really? they're doing shows on there and like, you could, you can go watch for free or you can like, you know, I, the way they monetize that is like you pay for like being at the top of the chat list or like, you know what I mean? Like there's, they monetize it in like getting you attention. But I just thought it was so, so awesome how these guys are taking that tech, you know, taking that idea, and now they're doing um, their their shows from it because it's a it's a it's a group of guys about five DJs, and they're all over the the country now. But now they're a crew again because they're they're using technology because they used That's to go cool. to like different spots, like a couple of them, and like share the night, you know what I mean, or whatever. And like so, it was cool because you had like different vibes, different flavors through the night, and what also what is also cool about it is that they're at a they're in a green screen behind them, and so there's a video of that song playing in the background. Oh, that's cool. So like you I haven't see, seen any of these yet. Yeah. So um, there they were a local a Philadelphia local crew called Ill Vibe Collective, and um, they're like you know DJs. They're into like the dj culture like you know like scratch battles like into it you know but they're also great djs for like party djs or dance get people to dance whatever so it's cool to it's cool to like have 
to see them innovating, but it's also cool to know that you can go there and like watch their shows or whatever. That's pretty cool. What's, what would you search on Twitch for that? Um, at Ill Vibe Collective. It was just, just at Ill Vibe Collective. Okay. I'll check that out. That sounds. Yeah. sounds and cool. um, yeah, so like, and I haven't spent a lot of time on there, you know, but I went there because of them, you know, but I haven't, truthfully, I haven't messed around with um, TikTok. Or even going I haven't either, before. but it's like the same thing. Like, I, you know, my brother just like jumped into it. He didn't have like, that's the funny thing. Like coming from marketing, you always feel like there has to be a goal. There has to be some kind of thing and build it out around that. Then it's like the other camp, like just take my brother, for instance, he's not doing it to, I don't know, sell anything really. I mean, he's doing it because he thinks it's cool you know he, could, he wants the he wants like the he wants the fame because he's he 18 fame, yeah and he's he's feeling that he's got that drive right now yeah he's like I, he's like i want to be famous i'm like yeah okay, like you know i don't i don't have that driver so i guess that's maybe that is his goal but it's funny because you take two things it's like things could get complicated on the business marketing side when you create a, a goal and then you create content towards that goal you don't end up creating like if you're going for fame you're going for fans which inherently will be more dedicated to you and buy whatever the hell you want to sell um so it's like it's a kind of yeah. funny how we, we got to that because i'm reading this book now it's called um phonocracy so it's um oh it's by um about your fans yeah david Meerman scott and okay. uh, Rico scott so i think they're um I think they did like the new rules of marketing and PR. I never okay. read that book, but yeah. it basically just talks about like building up a fan base and why that's the most important for anything that you're selling versus like, you know, seemingly like just creating a goal, creating content around that because it doesn't establish any kind of like relationship. Yeah. Relationship or excitement with people or, you know, their input unless, unless it's built around that. So it's kind of funny, like looking at those two things, how we you know, kind of got into that. But yeah, it's, it's, um, it's and, interesting and, to see. Yeah. And I, I have to go to another meeting. Uh, um, unfortunately, I, I just, as we like, I feel like we could talk for another hour easily. Well, yeah. Come uh, back, come back. We'll, but, um, I'll try I just start want, doing this more regularly. Yeah. Because I feel like there's a lot of good stuff in here and there's some stuff that, you know, is like, um, maybe a snoozer like from from what i was saying you know what i mean but like um there is definitely some great stuff in here but what you just said i think like we could tie that back to that like drift thing that you did it's like the same thing you know what i mean like you're creating a relationship when someone sees your message they're having an experience you know what i right. mean um they're not just they're not creating an experience. They don't have to work for it. So there goes back to our like human behavior part. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're not just reading text. They're, they're yeah. getting audio. They're getting visuals. They're getting, you know, yeah. seeing it all come to life and it's not selling you on anything. Yeah. yeah <laughs> you know, I'm awesome. not, not selling anything. You know? Yeah. <laughs> if you can yeah. Use help, great. If not, no big deal. Yeah. Yeah. If not, have a good day. But, um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'll let you run um, the meeting. We'll we'll do this again. Um, and what's uh, your website? You know, if, if you want people to check that out, you can just and I'll oh, I'll, I'll it's a, it's just philsorrentino.com. Okay. Um, and S O R R E N T I N O is how you spell my last name. Not okay. like I, people say um, Sorrentin or they say <laughs> Sorrento. Like for some reason, it's not a hard hard last name to say. I don't think if you just like take a moment, but. Yeah. For whatever the T I N O always trips people up, you know. Um, but I'll, I'll yeah. put a, I'll put a little um a yeah little link up to it. It's too, it's, so. a, it's a constant work in progress. Let's just put it that way. But like, I think yeah, we, we all are. We all yeah. are. Let's come back to this because there's so much more to talk about. Cool, man. All right. All right. Have a good good one. to see you, man. All right. All right. See you.